This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm here in Washington at the joint meeting uh, ICAC IDSA. I'm speaking with Dr. Andreas Diakon of the University of Stellenbosch in South Africa. For many years, the armamentarium against TB has been static. There have been no new drugs. At this meeting, some new drugs are being presented, and Dr. Diakon is presenting data on what is perhaps the most advanced of those new drugs. Um, can you explain, Dr. Diakon, what this drug is? What is it called? What, is it, uh, what does it do? The new drug uh, I was uh, having my presentation about today is called TMC207, and its mechanism of action is uh, that it blocks ATP synthase in mycobacterium tuberculosis. I see. So, in other words, it prevents the, uh, the bacterium from, from, it, from having its energy, uh, as it were. Yes, one could say that uh, the mycobacteria, the more active they are, the more uh, disease they're probably able to cause. And that bacterium is able, or that antibiotic is able to slow that process down and eventually kill the bacteria so that the people can be cured. I see. You're presenting data today on, on the first phase of a study. Um, what, did you, what were you looking at? What did you find? We tasted that substance added to a conventional regimen in patients that have drug-resistant tuberculosis. And the data I was presenting are preliminary because it's only the first quarter of the study that has been completed. And the results were presented because some uh, safety analysis and some analysis into the drug levels in the blood were planned up front to be analyzed after 50 patients, which was not done. A surprise to us was how well the drug actually worked uh, on the disease. We could see that there were a great lot more patients culture negative at eight weeks than with the new drug than was the case with placebo. Okay, so you had, uh, and you were able to show actually an efficacy difference, uh, which was I think quite dramatic, it was sort of in below 10% versus nearly 50% uh, were able to be, to, to kick the, 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 the bacterium. What about the safety analysis and the tolerability, how was that? The safety analysis and tolerability was very good on that set of patients that does not yet fulfill the criteria of being a full study. So the study cannot yet be stopped just because we have a very promising result. It needs to be completed first so that we have the complete safety analysis, tolerability and hopefully also very promising efficacy results then after the full set. I see. Um, obviously then the clinical implications are wait and see. The clinical implications are be hopeful and wait and see. I see. Well, thank you very much for your time, uh, Dr. Diacon. I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.